गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन तो स्टूडेंट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन योर सोशल साइंस क्लास इन हिस्ट्री चैप्टर नंबर थ्री एंड द टूडे सब यूनिटीज इन सर्च ऑफ रॉ मेटेरियल सर रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग so open your book page number 37 that in search of raw material in search of raw materials you know previous class i have already told you that they made different different instruments tools equipments the vessels with uh, silver gold bronze okay and copper now today we have to know that from where did they collected those metals that raw materials are substances that are either found naturally such as wood or ores or metals they can found naturally or processed by farmers or herders and those are then processed to produce finished goods for example cotton produced by farmers is a raw material that may be processed to make cloth okay so cloth is a processed material so two type of material it is the processed and natural okay so process material is the cotton cloth a natural material it is wood metals okay now uh, the raw material while some of the raw materials that are happen used were available locally many items such as copper tin gold silver and precious stones had to be brought from distant places okay so cotton and wood these are locally available but the metals precious metals such as the copper gold silver tin and other precious stones such as lapis lazuli okay lapis lazuli and the carnelian as well as the ruby okay this type of precious stones they collected from the other part of the sub, uh, other uh, part of the world okay as well as in asia the harappans probably got copper from present day rajasthan okay so they got copper from present day rajasthan okay so they got proper from present day rajasthan next next one okay students do you understand the page number uh, okay 29 in new book okay those have old book they can open page number 37 in your old book in search of raw materials okay so now harappan people they collected this type of metal such as copper from present day rajasthan number 2 even from oman in west asia they also collected copper from oman oman is a country in west asia also called middle east okay so this is number 1 number 2 another metal that is called tin students i have old book okay so those students 
have old book they can open page number 37 and 38 those have new book they can open chapter number 3 in your history book now what happened the tin which was mixed to produce the bronze it was pro uh, uh, collected maybe from present day afghanistan okay this may have been brought from present day afghanistan number 3 another metal that is gold gold could have come from today's karnataka okay and you know that in karnataka there are lot of gold mines are there okay lot of gold mines so it is collected from karnataka so gold collected from karnataka and precious stones precious stones such as lapis lazuli and cornelian stones these are collected from present day afghanistan and gujarat okay i am writing here precious stones okay another part that is iran iran also from iran also they collected these precious stones so gujarat iran and afghanistan okay so these are the places remember the name of these places it is very important for exam also okay look at the four, the four type of things that they collected from four different places okay so copper from present day rajasthan tin from uh, rajasthan and oman in west asia tin from afghanistan gold from karnataka precious stones from gujarat iran and afghanistan okay so these are the places from they were collected those precious metals and stones now next food for people in the cities now we'll discuss the food for people in the cities So food for people in the cities. How did they collected the food? Students, can I uh, rub this? Okay. So after your uh, exam routine and every inform everything you can found uh, in uh, the our official website. Okay. You will be informed later through website. Follow the website time to time and also our e-portal and everything will be mentioned there. so now that you know that people lived in cities at the time and other living in the countryside grew crops and reared animals but production crop production in the cities is not possible yes tanujit it is in school website now listen to me carefully i am asking question after this class that uh, people lived in the cities and others living in the countryside grew crop and reared animals and these farmers and herders supplied food to craft person scribes and rulers in the cities so all the production the agricultural production mainly come from the countryside means village what is the meaning of uh, countryside means villages okay so all the food stuffs food crops okay all the food crops came from the city uh, sorry came from the countryside and these farmers and herders supplied food and crops to the person and also the food crops meat 
okay from the animals meat they also provided to the cities and fishes also and who enjoy this thing like the craft person craft persons rulers and the scribes who are scribes who so what is the meaning of scribe those actually scribe is a writer who knows how to write those sindhu script they know to write those sindhu script and they are writing those script on their seals and they maintain records of their businesses and everything so these are scribes they had also some respect in the society so the they also give these things to craft person rulers and scribes students you can write otherwise you can underline in your book okay with the pencil you can take a pencil and underline this while you are reading uh, and the, uh, then you can uh, read this portion carefully now we know the remains of the plants this that the harappans grew that wheat barley pulses peas rice sesame linseed and mustard okay the different different things have found in the time from the different harappan sites so these are the evidence we can use this as a evidence that they had eat they had ate those things okay wheat barley pulses okay and etc a new tool the plow was used to dig the earth for turning the soil and planting seeds okay new tools plow also used to dig the earth you know how it looks okay so in this way they can dig the soil using this plow and join this to the animal those are from villages they can uh, they know what is plow okay today it is made with metal do you know what is this yes megomita very good it is script writer now except plow while a real plow which were probably made of wood have not survived so toy models have been found okay a toy plow today in many farming communities only men use the plow we do not know whether the harappan follow such a custom or not okay and the picture is given on your book figure number uh, it is or page number 38 in old book okay and the evidence of plow was not found the real plow only the toy plow was found okay and made up with uh, because probably the real one made up with wood and have not survived okay so as as this region does not receive heavy rainfall some from the irrigation may have been used this means that water was stored in large reservoirs in large ponds and supplied to the fields when the plants were growing okay when plants were growing they distribute the water stored in a big reservoir and to the various agricultural fields so i have told you already that uh, example uh, the evidence of irrigation also found and in this way some canals were dug in different parts and from a big reservoir through canals they supply the water to different agricultural fields in this way okay so this suppose this is the agricultural field agricultural field so they supply water in those agricultural fields through this canal system okay this canal it is a big reservoir and from this reservoir they can supply the water okay 
and water was stored and supplied to the fields when the plants were growing. When plants are growing from this reservoir, water was supplied. Now the Harappans reared cattle, sheep, goat, and buffalo. They also reared some animals like cattle, sheep, goat, and buffalo. So the evidence of the, those animals were found from their animal bones and water and pa uh, pastures were available around settlements. What is pasture land? Do you know? It is the grazing land where they used to take their animals for grazing. This is called pasture land. Okay, however, water, uh, however, in the dry summer months, large herds of animals were probably taken to greater distance. Herd means, animal herd means, you know, the group of animals. So these animals in the summer months when water is not uh, found and uh, the food also very less, then they were probably taken to greater distances in search of grass and water. And they also collected fruits like like bees, caught fish, and hunted wild animals like the antelope. Okay, so weed is one type of fruit as well as they caught fish and hunted wild animals like the antelope. Okay, antelope is one type of animal. It looks like uh, a deer and sometimes uh, half deer and half uh, like cow. Okay, this is one type of animal. So, if you have any question from this subunit, you can ask me. Sir. Okay. Tirchandu, okay, which one? I'll repeat. First, they uh, archaeologists found the evidence of different crops. They have found the evidence of different animals. They found the evidence of irrigation and uh, water reservoir, the use of plow in agricultural field. And they also found the evidence from very far regions that uh, and uh, the and the DNA of those animals found very far region and the people, they also match with the people in Harappan region, okay, surrounding areas. So that's why they assured, uh, they, uh, they uh, came in a decision so that those people grazing their animals to a very far region. Okay, so that's all. Next day, we'll discuss another subunit from geography Till then, read uh, carefully all the question answers. See you again. Thank you.